Town cars on the highway. But first of all, I want to say Baltimore. thank you. Thank you for being so welcoming. You know, one of the things that I I love um, the most, and, and I appreciate you reading the list of awards and accomplishments. But ultimately, what's kind of left off that list, and I think that everybody in this room really focuses on is service. I mean, it really is about you know how do you best serve? How do you take the advantages that you've been given, and a little bit of leverage that you might have at that moment? And sometimes for me, that's a microphone. <laughs> And how do you sort of shout and get resources or attention or tell stories or just make your voice heard a little bit louder and maybe drag some other people along with you so that their voices, which often fall you know, under the radar, also are elevated and are heard. Um, Diane, thank you times a million. It's so funny because when you look at what Diane focuses on and, and, and really puts her passion into, it's exactly what I do. I mean, it really is. You know, when it comes to empowering communities, that's what Black in America was about, taking a look at, you know, how do you look at education to empower a community and haul people into the middle class. When it comes to it, it, educating people about finances, that was Almighty Debt, our documentary about educating African Americans because of the clear roots between where we are today in a down economy and slavery, frankly. When it comes to really thinking about how we can use our voices and leveraging our voices and all the work that she does in placing blacks and Hispanics on boards to make sure that our voices are heard around the table and in crucial and important ways at the right moments. I mean, it's like, we just, I should just, you're just black and marry my next documentary. <laughs> um, you know, I also think the idea of, um, of just, you know, really I think in a lot of ways, the ways we've all gotten here to this room, which is, breaking down obstacles because we either had somebody push us or somebody pull us or a little bit of both and then as I like to describe my job sometimes you walk in and you just slam your head into the wall a few times and get your day going um, that also I think is what what Diane does through her work you know she she makes sure that the next generation of people will be more empowered and, and will make a real tangible change and really literally move the needle which is what I try to do in small ways every day so I just want to thank you for having me and letting me be Part of your day to day. Uh, I wrote this book or in my memoir because I really had heard a lot of stories um, about my mom. As child, you know my mom so well, and and, and, um, and my mom hates talking about stuff, as you know. Um, but I felt that as my mom was getting up.